this time we have taken a doubly inclined plane in this doubly inclined plane we have two inclinations in the one inclination we can observe the ball starts rolling from rest towards the ground so it is accelerating and then it either accelerates it neither accelerates nor decelerate or nor it retards it moves with the constant velocity once it reaches the ground and finally it will retard it reaches the same height as it started initially now we decreased the slope of the second inclination at this time also it will reach the same height but it will take more amount of time to reach this height when the slope of the second inclination is increased with respect to the slope of the first inclination then all then also the ball will reach the same height but it will reach in the less amount of time now in the third case when the inclination of the double inclined plane when the inclination of the second plane is brought near to the ground means the slope of the second inclination is zero then when the ball starts from the rest it accelerates towards the ground ideally when the ground when it does not have the friction it will move to the infinite distance so its a distance whenever it is moving its motion never ceases it keeps on moving continuously this is because it is neither accelerating nor it's decelerating if it is accelerating its speed has to increase its velocity has to increase if it is accelerating if it is retarding its velocity has to decrease but in the horizontal when it is moving in the horizontal direction when there is no friction there is no acceleration or there is no retardation but practically this kind of surfaces are we cannot observe them in the real life situation practically when the ball moves in the third case it will stop at some point of time because no surface is practically friction free only we have minimum friction surfaces and maximum friction surfaces but no zero friction surfaces in real time so here why the ball stops after some displacement because the frictional force is exactly working opposite to the direction in which the ball is moving because of this force which is acting in opposite the ball retards so then its velocity becomes zero at some point of the time in practical situation when there is no friction then this ball will move to the infinite distance so with this example we can tell if the friction of the surface is less then this ball will move to the more distance and if so the displacement is more in that case and when the friction of surface is high then this ball will move only less distance and the displacement is low